a pretty girl. I like to look cute. I like to dress up. I just be, I'm just a vibe. You feel me? As y'all can read the title above, that's why y'all even clicked on this. This story time is a cabin trip from hell. But if y'all are feeling this look, because I did do some cute little wand curls, y'all just stay tuned and just, yeah, go ahead and hit subscribe though. As y'all can see, my makeup is done and my hair is not. So I will be filming a hair video, um, just me doing some cute little wand curls um and get ready for the day and i'm gonna be telling y'all a story time as y'all can read the title above so this is my first video my very first youtube video on this channel now i do have another youtube channel but this is the first video so i wanted to jump on in with the bang i wanted to come out with this story time because i was going through my um oh and by the way this wig is not glued down it's not really even secured I just um, really just put some got to be glue on these edges. That's to secure it, but it looks a hot mess. I don't plan on like showing the sides and nothing like that. So I didn't really care. Like as y'all can see, like it's not, no, it's not laid down properly. So don't come for me in the comment section. Oh, and before I even get into it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I am at zero subscribers so let's see how long it takes me to get to 100 subscribers this is so fun like just starting all over brand fresh new um but yeah hit that subscribe button don't forget to comment what y'all think all y'all reactions to this video down below hit that thumbs up button for this video because your girl is looking good yes okay so now for real for real we're gonna go ahead and hop in so I was on my Instagram going through my archive. If you are not following me, which most of y'all probably aren't, um, go ahead, scroll down. The link will be down in that description bar. Yes, yeah, so I was going through my archive and all that good jazz. And I seen this video of me and my friends when we was at this cabin. Um, and this cabin trip took place years ago, like, years ago it had to be at least maybe six five or six years ago it was my friend's birthday me and this really good friend like we have been for we actually met in college she was my college roommate and so it was her birthday our birthdays are exactly one month apart she pretty much planned this whole little cabin trip um you know for her and all her friends to link up the cabin was so nice. Like, the cabin was so nice. And we're going to name my friend, we're going to name her Twin. Because literally, that's what we used to call each other was Twin. Like, that's my twin. That's my sis. Like, and people believed us. That was the crazy part. People used to believe that we were actually sisters. Because we kind of similar. You know, we were similar. We kind of acted the same. Like, we kind of was like, we was just really, really close. Like, close enough to where, like I said, you would have thought we were actually related. Like I said, twin, it was her birthday coming up. So she invited me and all my friends. Now, twin had two sets of friends. She had one set of friends that she met at the beginning of her college years. She had one set of friends that she met at the end of her college years. So the um i was part of the group that she met in the beginning because again we came in freshman year that was my freshman year roommate sophomore year roommate after that i ended up transferring and so um yeah so she invited all of us and then um you know she told us how much it was going to cost blah 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 you know you put your little deposit and it was only honestly it was only like 150 150 the most each and it was like i said a really really nice um cabin like it was really nice so before we get there of course she puts us all in a group chat you know so we can discuss you know like the things we want to do discuss the menu discuss because you know of course you're going on a cabin trip so we're going to be cooking so everybody like kind of put their name down on the list of what they're going to bring blah 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 so first thing was first, it kind of started out um, in the 
group chat. So me, I am a very like, looking at me, you would think I am stuck up. You would think I am bougie just because of like, my facial expressions are not always the best. Um, when I don't know people, I am kind of like observant. I like to observe. I don't always like just hop in full friendly, you know, like, I'm not always like that. Her set two friends. Okay, so just remember this. I am part of the set one friend. friends. It is me, one of my closest friends at a time, which we are not friends anymore. Um, but yeah, me, one of my closest friends at the time, we're going to name her, we're just going to name her Piggy. Not that she was fat like a pig, because she really wasn't. She was far from fat from a pig. She had a, she had a really nice body or whatever, but... We're just going to name her Piggy. Um, so, and then was one of my other friends, which we're still cool to this day. And we're going to name her um, Freak. And if she watching this video, <laughs> she knows why. Everybody who knows her knows. Well, all the, you know, everybody that was part of our, our little group, we know, we, we know why we're going to call her the Freak. So, in set one, it's me, Piggy, and the Freak, right? And the Freak. Now, in set two, one of, one of them was actually one of my roommates from sophomore year. Me and her were really cool, but again, I transferred, so I wasn't close to them anymore. Now... My roommate had a group, a couple friends too that I was cool with. Like I actually went out with them. Like whenever I came to Albany, back to Albany, because that's where I went was Albany State University (HBCU) down in Albany, Georgia. But yeah, so like whenever I would come and visit and stuff like that, we actually like then linked up. Like I thought they were pretty cool, cool people, or whatever. So, I didn't really think anything of it. I didn't think it was going to be any drama. I didn't think it was going to be no beef because, once again, like, it was only maybe, like, four or five people, maybe a little more than that. But it wasn't, like, I knew majority of the group. Like, I knew majority of the group. So, I didn't think it was going to be an issue with going because, like I said, like, I'm a pretty chill person. And I get along with pretty much anybody that wants to get along with me. So in this group chat, it, that's where it all kind of started was like, I just started peeping little things where it was like a lot of like side conversations and stuff like that. Like it was one incident where we was talking about turning up or something like that. And as soon as Piggy, honestly, if I gotta be real, I feel like the beef really wasn't with me i feel like most of the beef was really with piggy so it was a lot of people the people that were intimidated by her it was just kind of one of those things like you beefing with her you beefing with me type of thing and so like we could feel the energy like anytime we would comment like okay so let's say like we everybody would be commenting right everybody be messing each other and then as soon as me miss piggy um would comment it would go quiet you like that awkwardness or whatever. But me being me, I was like, I don't care. Like, I'm just going to turn up. I already pay my money. So I'm going to have a good time regardless. I don't care who don't like me. They're going to get to, you know, they're going to get to liking me. And that's just what it's going to be. Like, you know, like, I'm just trying to be positive about it. Like, deep down, I had a feeling it was going to be some drama. So fast forward to the day that we get there, y'all. The place was nice. If I can find the videos to insert, I'm going to insert it. It was three levels. It was a basement, the main floor, and then the top floor. In the basement, it was two bath. It was two bedrooms, one bathroom, living room, like a whole little game room where you could play pool and all that other stuff. And then on the main level was the master bedroom, the living room, the kitchen, of course. Um, it was like a little sitting area. It was a jacuzzi with a really nice balcony and a really nice view. And then it was a third level that had three bedrooms and I think it was three bath or either two bath, one or the other. Really nice. Like it was really nice, more than enough space. It was just perfect. So we go and we pick our rooms. Now in group, like in my little clique, it was, like I said, three of us, 
So we decided, okay, we just gonna pick a room that all of us can be in. So, you know, that way it's no like, it's no, it's no issue or whatever. So we ended up choosing the one of the rooms that was all the way at the top level and it had bunk beds. It had two sets of bunk beds in there. So we chose that one. Um, and then of course, twin, she, her boyfriend was there. So her and her boyfriend stayed in the master and then, um, yeah, it was a, it was a couple upstairs with us and I think it was just, it might've just been two bedrooms upstairs. I don't really remember to be honest, but I just know that we was in the twin room and then in the room next to us was a couple it was a, a boyfriend and a girlfriend that was staying upstairs with us now on the main level it was twin and her boyfriend in the master and then downstairs was all a group two pretty much pretty much that's just how it went so we get there like in the beginning we get there like not the first people, but we were, we were there pretty much. We got there pretty early. So, cause everybody else was coming. Like I lived at that time. I was living in Decatur or Atlanta, one of those places. But from where we were staying, it was only like an hour away from me. So it was an easy drive. Everybody else was coming from like Albany, from South Georgia, Columbus, you know, they was coming from there. So it was taking them like four or five hours. We get there, whatever. We pick our room, blah, blah, blah. People start rolling in. So like I said, I could peep the animosity but through the text messages. Like I could peep it. So look, this part is very important. So when the girls had got there, we was in our rooms, right? We was in our rooms. We was just chilling. It was me and um piggy piggy was on the top bunk i was on the bottom bunk but i think well we slept like that like i slept at the bottom she slept at the top but i think at this time we both was at the bottom and we was just like down there like kiki and stuff like that well twin she ended up um twin ended up trying to bring the girls upstairs to introduce us or whatever so they come in the room and like i said i'm friendly like i might not look like it but i'm very friendly so when they come in the room i'm like hey y'all andrea you know blah 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 you know all that good stuff and then they like it wasn't like a hey like you know what hey y'all blah, blah blah it was like hey like that so then Piggy, you know, she just looking at them. She didn't even introduce herself because she already saw the way they 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 just threw me to the side. So she was just like looking at them like <laughs> it was just so awkward. So I had my little uh I had my little shades on because I'm like I want to be able to look where I want to look. And I don't want nobody to look at me in my face. I don't want nobody to know what I'm looking at. Like, I just want to be in my zone. So I had on those, uh, like, those mirror aviator shades. And if I can find a video of that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to insert as many videos as I can. Because, like I said, I was going through my archive. And I saw all this. And I said, like, oh, my God, I remember. I remember this. So, yeah, that was my inspiration for this video so i'm gonna try to in insert as many little clips as i can um but yeah so i am a pretty girl i like to look cute i like to dress up i just be i'm just a vibe you feel me so i was just you know in my zone with my glasses it wasn't even that i was like trying to look at anybody it wasn't even like i was trying to be sneaky it was just one of those things where like i don't feel like these girls are accepting me for who I am. Like, so I'm just gonna have my shade, you know, like my hater blockers on. That first night we was lit, like me, Piggy, we was, you know, we was doing our little twerking things, stuff like that, cause that's what we used to do. I mean, we, we still do it. You know, like we was back there like, ah, ah, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, drinking, drinking, drinking. You know, all that, we was on that. We was just a vibe. Like I said, we was lit, especially me. Like, like I said, I off, off looking at me, you would think, 
okay, she stuck up, she bougie, blah, 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 because I am kind of observant. Like at the beginning, I'm very observant. I don't, I like to feel people's energies and stuff like that before I, I start really mingling and stuff. But when I'm lit, I'm lit. Like when I'm lit, I try to get everybody else lit. Like that, I'm that person. You want a shot? I'm pouring drinks. I'm, you know, you, you get a shot, you get a shot, you get a shot, you get a shot. You know, everybody lit, you know, like that's my type of vibe. So the next morning we get up and like we get up and we were supposed to be going where was we was we were supposed to be going like river rafting or something like that but y'all why they found a an alligator in the river so they had to shut the river down and we couldn't do it because they said that it was a, a safety hazard with the alligator being loose in the river. And I'm like, what? Like, I ain't never heard of that. So we ended up going to that, which was cool or whatever, but we did like, we did go somewhere because I remember, I forgot where we went, y'all. I forgot where we went, but I remember, okay. So Piggy, she used to drive this Mercedes, like this red Mercedes, and it wasn't a convertible, but it was like a coupe or whatever. And it was just, it was a really nice car. And so when we was going, we was going somewhere to the store. I don't remember where it was going, but so we all in a line, it's like four or five cars deep, right? We in a line. So Piggy, she was like, I'm finna pass him. So, but it was more so, it was like supposed to be like a little, like kiki, fun little type of thing, but they didn't take it like that, of course. But it was supposed to be like, you know, like, let me speed up, get in front of you. And then they be like, oh, no, we finna speed up, get in front of you type thing. Like, it was supposed to be like that type of energy, but it, it just wasn't perceived that way. But so she was like, they dropped too slow. So she hits it, right? She hits it and she gets over in front of them. And I mean, like, we just, like, lit. Like, I'm out the window egging them on, you know, all that other stuff. And they just wasn't feeling it. Like, they was not feeling that at all. Laughing at all, blah, blah, blah. We don't care. Like, we we just there for a good time. Like, we could care less. Like, it was supposed to be funny. You didn't take it as a joke. Oh, well, you know, like, life goes on. I don't got to see y'all again after this trip, so... It is what it is. We get back to the place and we uh, we get back to the cabin and we just trying to take shots, you know, get lit, all this other stuff. And so we end up doing that. We definitely ended up getting lit. Now this is the second night. So we had went there Friday and then we checked out on Sunday. So this was the last night. So we there or whatever. And it was a vibe like, like I said, they ended up cooking. We ended up having good food. We had good food that morning too because they ended up making breakfast. And yeah, so we was um at the end of the night, we had went downstairs and we had um we was like playing pool, playing games, we ended up playing the spin the you know, spin the bottle, whichever drink it lands on, you gotta drink it, blah blah blah. You know, like we ended up playing all that. We started redoing like the passionates and uh or the platinum divas the platinum divas and all this other stuff you know like we was we it was a vibe it was a vibe <laughs> Everything was good. Everything was good. At least I thought everything was good. Up until they decide, you know, let's play hide and seek. Let's play hide and seek. So, I don't know if y'all remember, but I remember the game of hide and seek always stopped as a kid when somebody gets hurt. Like, that's how the game always ended. So... You know, of course, like when you first hear how to see, you're not thinking that. You just like, yeah, let's let's go. So let's 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 play or whatever. So we playing, like we playing in the dark at that. So we playing how to go see. First round was cool, whatever, blah blah blah. 
So second round was cool. The only thing was like one of the people they had this broom and I guess cause they couldn't see. So it was supposed to like help them maneuver or something like that. So they ended up finding um, the guy with the stick, he ended up finding, I don't know if y'all remember, but in the beginning I told y'all that we was room next to a couple. It was a guy and a girl in the room so they ended up finding the guy that was room next to us you know with his girlfriend that's who was it or whatever and it was somebody else that was it with him too because it was two people that was it at the time so you know everything was cool blah 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 so the guy we just gonna name him sweetheart because he really was a sweetheart he like he really was so we just gonna name him sweetheart just for the sake of it but um yeah so sweetheart ended up getting it with somebody else i don't know who it was it's his turn to go and count while we hide or whatever so we all hiding blah 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 everything's cool da, da, da. all of a sudden we hear somebody cursing Somebody is cursing to the point where, like, the game is over. Like, people are coming out of hiding at this point to see, like, what's the deal. And so, it's one of the girls, my old roommate. Not twin, but the other one that I told y'all that we was room with um, sophomore year. Or whatever. So, she ended up getting hit by the broom from sweetheart because remember when sweetheart got it it was a guy that had a broom in his hand now i saw this because i was hidden behind a plant in the corner and i saw it <laughs> it was dark but you know like after a while your eyes start getting adjusted to the to the darkness so i saw the broom like i saw it and so i'm guessing whenever sweetheart was it dude handed the broom to him right so he so at this point but sweetheart instead of like using the broom as if it's like a cane or something sweetheart is literally literally like searching for people like this like you know like the broom is flying okay so i'm assuming girl got hit by a broom because it's not even an assumption she did get hit by the broom but i'm assuming that's how you know he was wait he was waving it because again i saw him so um yeah I, I i saw the whole thing or whatever and i didn't see the girl get hit but i saw the way he was looking for folks and stuff so girl got hit she cursing blah 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 it turned into this big old thing where like i said everybody was um Everybody was coming out of hiding. Everybody. So we come out or whatever. And um like her nose was bleeding. Like it was legit bleeding. Like I understood. But it was like the way the situation went down, I understood why she was so upset because I would have been upset. Like if my nose was bleeding, I would have been upset too. But it was just the fact like if you would have saw this guy, you would have knew like that was not his intention like he was really not on that like he was apologizing profusely like he was like i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i understood both sides because girl nose was bleeding like when i say it was bleeding it was not like a little drop like no it was bleeding like as if he just walked her aside her nose with the broom like it was just bad so like I understood both sides, but girl, she was going in on him. Like she was going in on him and to the point where I was like, it's a little too much. And she's walking up on him like this, like, like, like she was about to fight him and he's just standing there like, I'm sorry. Like her yelling in his face for 10 minutes. Like imagine somebody yelling at you in your face for 10 minutes and you not saying nothing. Like literally, only thing that was coming out of his mouth was I'm sorry. As he understood, she wasn't understanding and she didn't care. So he stopped explaining and the next words that was coming out of his mouth was I'm sorry. Like I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Like so 
like I said, twin, twin boyfriend, he got to the point where he was like, you know what? Like, you not finna keep yelling at my homeboy. Like, he already said he's sorry about 50 times. Like, he not finna, you know, he, like, he already apologized 50 times. Like, how many more times you want him to apologize? Like, literally, that's what he was saying. Like, you not finna keep doing this to him. Like, how many more times? He said he was sorry. He said he was sorry. Now, at this point, now all the anger that she was directing towards sweetheart is now being directed towards twins boyfriend. I hope y'all are catching up with the story because it's just so much that was going on. It, it really was so much that went on in this trip. So I hope y'all are understanding because it's about to get real juicy real quick. So she all up in and twin boyfriend face now. And now twin at this point, she is um upset. She's very upset because it's her birthday weekend. Not only is she having drama between her two sets of friends, her two sets of girlfriends, now she's having drama between her boyfriend and one of her friends. So she's just like, it's just too much drama. It's just way too much drama going on. And she didn't, you know, she didn't want that. Nobody would want that on their birthday. Like, that was just a lot. And so it turns to this big old thing where Twin's boyfriend ended up having to go outside to calm down. Like, nobody could calm him down. Like, he was just angry. Like, he was angry. And I get where he was coming from. At the same time, I feel like a lot of it was alcohol induced because we was we was lit. So I feel like a lot of that was um, heightened by the alcohol. But yeah, he was going crazy to the point where, like I said, nobody could control him. At this point, it's mayhem. Like it's mayhem. I'm talking about people is trying to get people to calm down. Now more people are angry. People are trying to figure out what's going on because now, now, okay, because girl was arguing with twins boyfriend. Now, because twins boyfriend started yelling back at her, now set two, all that whole group, the ones that's beefing with us, now they in her boyfriend, twins boyfriend's face because they feel like it's wrong of him to yell at her for getting in his face. So, I don't know, I don't know uh, where they thought that at, but I know if, if, if you in somebody's face, regardless, you know it's gonna be some type of rebuttal. Like you know it's gonna be some issues. If you if you decide to walk up on somebody and start yelling at them in their face, you got to know it's gonna be some yelling back. It's gonna be something like some talking back. It's gonna be some type of rebuttal, like regardless. But they felt like you know he was a guy and he shouldn't have done that. But like I said, you walking up on a guy. So, I mean, I'm not condoning it, but at the same time, it's like you can't choose or, you know, you can't pick people's reactions. You don't know how people are going to react. That's why before you walk up into somebody's face, you got to think of all the options that they have and what they might do to you before you walk up in their face. And that goes for a male, woman, it don't matter. Like, at the end of the day, you cannot walk in somebody's face. And just think they gonna take it. Just because homeboy took it, don't mean this homeboy gonna take it. So, you know, like, I understood, yeah, he's a dude, you know, he, he was cussing at her, but he didn't put his hands on her and nothing like that. He was just literally arguing back with her. And so, um, yeah, so one of those girls from set two, they decide, they finna put hands on twins boyfriend and i didn't like that i'm one of those friends where i'm just like keep your hands off of you know our significant others like if if me and you got beef don't you put your hand on my man you get what i'm saying and i'm not gonna put my hand on your man we not finna do that we not finna do that because what happens if he put his hands on you after you didn't put your hands on him what happens if he puts your his hands on you? And meanwhile, while girl is putting her hands on twin's boyfriend, twin is back there crying. 
she's crying. And here she comes, comes to me, and she's like, Drea, can you please tell everybody to go downstairs? Can you tell everybody to go downstairs? She was trying to get everybody downstairs so she could stay upstairs with her boyfriend, calm him down, bring him downstairs, and then we have like this conversation, you know, like this little kumbaya type of conversation. And when she told me that, I was like, look, I said, just like this, I was like, look, I don't know if I'm the right person that you want to get to do this. Because I know how I am. I said, the way my temper is set up, the way, the way you know, my attitude works, if somebody says the wrong thing to me, I'm going to add to the issue. Like, I don't want to be in this position. I was like, I, I just think you need to give somebody else this opportunity to shine. I go in, I go inside because at this point we're outside because twins boyfriend's outside. He's heated. Girl that came beat, you know, put not beat him up, but she's like touching him in his face, you know, doing all that. Eventually she left. So I go inside and I'm like, y'all, y'all need to go downstairs, you know, like she's crying. Get downstairs, like stop putting your hands on folks, like all that's uncalled for. Y'all just need to go downstairs. Like y'all doing too much. That's like why I was like, y'all doing too much. This is too much. Y'all just need to go downstairs. So Girls are getting ready to go downstairs before you know it. One of them said something about beating somebody up. I felt like she was saying she was going to beat me up. I couldn't hear her all the way, which is why I said, don't talk shit while you walking away. Because I'll beat your ass. That's exactly what I said. So, I said that, boom, girl hurt me. So, she turned around and said, okay. So, at this point... I'm trying to put my, because I'm, now, I'm multitasking. Yeah, I'm trying to clear out the room, all that other stuff, but I also got a little plate of meatballs in my hand doing it too. So I put down my plate just so kindly, and I'm like, bitch, you know, like, bitch, let's go. So I'm running up at this point. Like, I'm literally, I put my food done, bound, down, and I'm running up. Before I knew it, I don't know how Freak knew, but here come Freak. And she's like, Drea, let's go, let's go, let's go. So her and Piggy, they are pushing me to our little stairway, you know, stairway up where the, the angels live. Heavens is upstairs. They was downstairs. So, you know, I'm heated. Like, cause I, I'm like, look, first of all, you already put your hands on my home, my homegirl's boyfriend, which I don't like. You're trying to act tough, which you know you ain't. And then you gonna you got the nerve to talk mess while you walking away from me? Are you serious? I was I was heated to the point where I really wanted to beat this girl up. I really did. So you know the next night goes by. You know everything's crazy. The girls they ended up leaving like they left early that morning. They didn't even say bye to twin. They didn't even help clean up. They didn't do nothing. Like literally they just packed their bags and they left. So the next morning, twin, you know, she comes upstairs and she's like, you know, like, I'm just so upset about everything that happened last night and all this other stuff. And of course, you know, she wanted to hear my side of how I got so angry, how I was about to start fighting. Blah, blah, blah. And I told her, you know, like, I was just trying to calm. I did exactly what you told me to do, which I told you not to give me that position. I told you because... Like I said, I already knew these girls had beef with me. Like, I could feel it, feel the energy before anything. So, what makes you think that they going to take any direct from a female that they don't like? Like, they don't like me. So, I don't know what you make, what makes you feel like they going to listen to me. Like, they don't even want me around them. So, you know, like, I just knew they was not going to listen to me. And like I said, I knew how my temper is set up. Like, I don't... It will, let me just put it like this. Back then, my temper was set up much different than what it is today. Now, I'm older. I got too much to lose. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm the, I pick and choose my battles now. So, yeah, I explained to her the situation, stuff like that. And she told us, you know, how they just got up and they left. They didn't even say bye to her and stuff like that. So we just chopping it up, you know, we helped her clean up, all that other stuff, and then we ended up leaving. Well, while later on we found out that 
the whole reason why they didn't like us is because they felt like Piggy was, um, Piggy, like I said, she had a really nice body and she didn't mind showing it off. And they just felt like Piggy was just showing her body too much. Like she was wearing bikinis and stuff like that. You know, whenever it's time to get a jacuzzi, she would have on like a really small bikini. And they just felt like it was inappropriate since, you know, um, Twin's boyfriend was there. You know, it was a whole bunch of other guys there. They just thought it was inappropriate. But Twin was like, I'm confident. Like, I don't have any, like, of course, everybody has insecurities. But she's not insecure because of her. You get what I'm saying? Like, because let, let it be let it be known, Twin got a nice body too. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's no reason for her to feel intimidated by Piggy because, I mean, it's nothing to be intimidated by when you are confident in yourself. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, so, you know, she wasn't even sure about that or whatever. And plus, we all know Piggy. Like, this is how Piggy has been since we've known her. So, she's always walked around in short shorts and, you know, like, bandu top. She would wear, like, little bra legs. You know, like... That's her. We've, we've already knew this. And if she had a problem with that beforehand, she wouldn't have invited her. Because once again, this is not something that's new. This is not something that we just woke up and discovered. Like, no, she's been like this since we have known her. So it wasn't an issue. And then, so I also found out that... Um, well, I kind of knew about this beforehand a little bit, but it was already a little beef between Freak and the other girl from, uh, one of the girls from set two. Um, I don't exactly remember what was said, but they had an exchange of words. And so they had a little beef um, already before, like before we even got there. So it was like some built up tension before we even got there. And like these girls, like I said, they just, they was just some haters. Like, I'm just like, let us, yeah, like why, why do girls have to be so, I'm not trying to sound cocky or anything like that. But like, when you're confident in yourself, it's nothing that anybody else can put on, can do that makes you feel insecure. You know what I'm saying? Like. Like, dang, if anything, like, I don't know. Like, wouldn't you want to be around pretty girls? You just never know females these days. You just don't know, like, what they're going through, what, what's going on in their heads and stuff like that. And honestly, I don't really even care to know. But I just know that you can't, you can't, like, treat people like that. You know, like, that's just, that's just wrong. You shouldn't, you shouldn't prejudge people. I mean, we do it all the time, but it's a difference between prejudging and giving them a benefit of the doubt and prejudging and literally believing with everything that you prejudge. And that's just real talk. And because of that, that whole incident, like, they didn't fall out because of that incident, but I know that they weren't, like friends like that because we actually did go on another cabin trip they weren't there so none of them were it was a whole nother group it was a whole different type of vibe it was a really nice vibe like it was like the perfect cabin trip I must say like I went in knowing no one well no I knew one or two people um, but I went in knowing literally no one and I left knowing a good bit of people like, and, you know, really good, nice people that got a lot of stuff going for themselves and, you know, they had really good energy. It wasn't like any type of, I mean, at first I did kind of feel weird because like I said, I didn't know anybody there, but it turned out to be a good little vibe. Everyone was pretty nice. Um, nobody was too standoffish. 
at least I didn't, I don't be paying attention, y'all. I'll really be in my own little vibe, like I said. So it, I wasn't really paying attention too much, but yeah. So that's my crazy story, y'all, of a cabin trip from hell. I hope it wasn't too much all over the place. I feel like it was because it was so much that went on in just those three days. Like literally it was two days, but two days. Cause we got there Friday, Saturday, and then we left Sunday. But like we left early Sunday. Like that's how you know a trip is hell when you leave early. <laughs> Most times, you know, check out is what eleven. When you leaving out at eight, nine in the morning, that's how you know that trip is hell. All right, y'all. So thank y'all for watching this video. This cute little video that I have made. I hope y'all enjoyed the hair. All the hair specs will be down below in the description box. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye!